Today is one of those special moments in our lives in which we revive the grace that has been given to us through the imposition of hands. If you recall, on the day of our ordination, each one of us was asked, which I think we shall repeat today, are you resolved to consecrate your life to God for the salvation of his people? I'm sure we all responded, I am. If we didn't respond to that, we are still not yet peace. <laughs> My brother, please, that is the essence of our vocation. To consecrate our lives to God for the salvation of his people. You see, when we, therefore we render service to our people, we are not doing them any favor. We are simply doing what is our duty. And we, are, we must do it gladly. Sometimes we think we are doing favor to people. We are not doing them any favor. You hear so many stories about all the antiques some of us we do when we celebrate the Eucharist. Anyway, let's let <laughs> Let us make mass a priority in our pastoral ministry. Let us make mass a priority in our pastoral ministry. So it is said, therefore, to hear from time to time that some of us are nowhere to be seen, found in the parish, even on Sundays. <laughs> or when they are present, they celebrate masses that last only for 30 minutes. What are you rushing for on Sunday? Where do you want to go? Imagine people have been waiting the whole week to be nourished at the table of the Word and at the table of the Eucharist or the body and blood of Christ. And you come there, 30 minutes, you are done. And you get into the car and drive off. What are you rushing for? If one can ask, we should be amongst our people on Sunday. That is the day we should interact with them. Give them time even to do their confessions. If you had have done mass on 30 minutes, when did you have time to sit down and ask for them to come and at least receive the sacrament of reconciliation? Nothing. In a few months' time, the nation will be holding what we call harmonized elections. As we all know, elections in our country often bring with them anxiety and fear. Fear of violence and even loss of innocent lives. Already the prevailing atmosphere can be described as toxic. As a priest, we have a crucial role to play. That of forming our people on issues of political tolerance, justice, and peace. But for our efforts to be a success in such situations, that by the way are often complex, we need to maintain our proper character and remain faithful to our vocation. Our duty as pastors is to serve all God's people. We can never be servants of any human ideology. Therefore, our task is to foster agreement among divergent viewpoints in such a way that nobody in our communities feels a stranger. No one should feel that I'm not supporting the party that Father supports. <laughs> No, we don't take orders from any human ideology. You know, we can be 
mukazero zesaru tsotse nyika yedu dzatakatarisana nazo muye kwenguva yose kuti muri wa miririri wa Kristo kunzimbo dzose dza munogara kumabasa kwa munoshanda na pose pa munofamba saka zvito zvenyu zvama zvawose kazwe zvinobasira kuva kare mangwana renyika yedu Kunyangwe pako zoo ita rusa saru zoo. Wona hiku timuno saru zaba. Tunga mimi wane chido ne ukusha. Chokusha ndera rujinji lovani. Penyika yenu. Kwa singa hiki rusa roro. Kana kuzifunga hivu voga. Nevame wa shomane nevavano da. Shokoramu wa ringaru kubasire kuita hizo. Mgadaru mchava chieza chenyika. Mchaba munu wapasi. Kunemi vechidiki. Mziwai kutinika ine tarisiro mamuri. Nukudaro msafu mkushandi sa mungu ita mabasa huu hipi. Ne hawa wane nyota yuruve ngu ne nyonga nyonga mavari. Pope Benedict the 16th of happy memory had this advice to you young people. Dear young people, enticements of all kinds may tempt, tempt you. Ideologies, religious sex, money, drugs, casual sex violence. Says be vigilant. Those who propose these things to you wanted to destroy your future. In spite of the difficulties, do not be discouraged. And do not give up your ideals. Rather, place yourself at the center of Jesus, at the center of your lives through prayer and cultivate a yearning for fraternity, justice, and peace. And peace.